My name is Howard Mukanda and I am CISSP certified. I can say that now. So this morning I woke up and I had this email that says, congratulations, your application to become CISSP certified has been approved. And I was very excited. I went ahead and paid them the $120 that they needed. And I got access to the IC squared membership portal. So I can officially tell you I'm CSSP certified. And in this video, I'm going to tell you how I not only studied for the CSSP, but how I went through the endorsement process. If you're interested in understanding how I studied for the CSSP, I have a whole series on my channel on how I started studying and also how long it took me. In this video, I'm going to emphasize on the endorsement process and how that happened. The first thing um, I wanted to share with you is the timeline. So I passed my CSSP on June 14th. It's hard. When I took my certification, uh, the CSSP, during the exam, I thought I wasn't worth the CSSP. It was so difficult. I had studied a lot and what I found out is that the exam doesn't test your memorization. The t exam does test your understanding of the material, especially if you have a lot of experience. I said for the CCNP, the Cisco Certified Network Professional Exam, that was nothing compared to the CISSP. So if you're studying for the CISSP, don't let me scare you. You will get it. Just study a lot and follow uh, a lot of other people's advices and you'll be fine. There's also um, practice questions online. Watch my other video. I do share uh, what I use for practicing and also for studying. So check that one out. But in this video, I'm going to uh, start with the endorsement process. Then I'll give you some tips later. I passed the exam on June 14th of this year. And after passing the exam, I got the email. Um, I didn't send my endorsement until the 21st of June. So I, I passed on the 14th. Then I'll, on the 21st, I sent out my endorsement uh, application. And by the 1st of August, which is uh, today, I got it, my response saying that my endorsement was accepted. So let me take you through the endorsement process. For you to become CISSP certified, you need to actually have five solid years of IT experience. And during those five years, they ask for your experience in at least two security domains. And so that's what you have to do. And there are two ways to do it. First way is if you don't know anyone who is certified, who is CISSP certified, like myself, you can submit your resume highlighting your security experience and IC squared would endorse you. So if you're taking the first path, you have to actually write your resume in a very specific way. You have to actually don't send your normal resume that you send to everybody. When you send your resume, make sure that you put the domain that whatever experience that you're putting there meshes to. I did it for myself, but I think that it's very important for someone out there who is reading that resume. If you have seven years, eight years, 10 years of experience, but your title wasn't IT security something, you might as well just put the domain that that experience falls into. So it makes it easier for the people that are looking at your application to say, wow, that's domain one, that's domain two, that's domain three, that's domain four, and you have more than two domains to fill your resume. So if you're going to apply for your endorsement through IC squared, just use that experience. The second and the easiest option is to use someone who is uh, certified. So those people who are CICCB certified can actually vouch for you. Send anyone in your life that you know who is CSSP certified and they'll be able to help you. But if you don't think that you have five years of solid IT experience, just become an associate. Once you pass that, uh, reach out to any certified individuals and they'll be able to help you. So that's the second option that you can do. 
And here are some of my tips for those who are still studying for the CSSP. I have two books here. Please just use them. The official practice questions. Just do this book. The official study guide. I love, love, love this book. I refer to this book a lot. If you are going for the CSSP, use some books like I showed you here. These books. Use a video series. Watch the videos when you say you are playing video games, you are doing something. Listen to the videos. Say you are painting your house like ours. My house was getting renovated, so I was painting as I listened or you, you're driving to work, do that. Then read a book. Practice questions are not optional. You have to study from the books. You have to practice from the books, but you also have to practice from online resources. So once you actually practice a lot of questions, and I suggest 3,000 to 5,000 questions, then you'll be good. The second thing that I advise, and a lot of people didn't get this on boards, they didn't watch until the end. Join Luke Ahmed's Facebook group. His name is Luke Ahmed. This guy has a Facebook group. It's called CSSP Study Notes. It's probably the best group that you can ever join. Just join that. In addition to that, there's a wonderful group that I think you should also join if you want to pass the CSSP. It's a Reddit group. So if you don't have a Reddit account, I'll specifically create one for this one. The CSSP is $800. It's very expensive. If you want to pass it, you have to join the CSSP Reddit group. I'll have a link in the description. Ask any questions you want in this group and they'll answer it for you. They did for me. That's it for today. My computer just died. I'll see you in the next video where we'll be talking about more about IT security.